Hey, what's up guys, it's Fish here, and welcome back to another battle on Total War Warhammer. Today we have an awesome Orc vs Orc engagement. Grimgor has come to put down this Savage Orc incursion on a awesome custom map battle. So if you guys enjoy this, please do make sure to drop a like and a comment down below, and let's go ahead and get started by looking at the army comps. So we'll jump straight in by looking at the defending side. This is only made up of Savage Orcs and Monsters, so because of that, this side, the defending side, actually got a little bit more money because the other orcs were obviously allowed to just use the entire roster of the orc forces so to kind of compensate for that kind of i guess i guess uh handicap the savage orcs got a little bit more money to buff buff out their numbers to help them out a little bit so obviously their roster is going to be really really simple just a ton of savage orcs scattered around this really cool custom map in this orc defense encampment i guess they also have a uh, little side defense over here holding off this right flank hopefully from a lot of the invaders and they've got obviously trolls and giants and that's going to be my main forces i'm not sure if they have an arachnorok anywhere along here i don't can't see one but maybe they do and i just haven't seen it yet and obviously they've got wazog as well who is leading the defense right now at the front of the forces as catapults come flying in so that should be pretty awesome so let's go and look at the other side of the attacking forces we have some uh i haven't actually seen is this a regiment of renowned it is a regiment of renowned i don't think i've ever seen this regiment of renowned like ever before that's crazy i've just never seen it that's that's really weird because i've like i've obviously played this game a ton so that's surprising i just has never pro popped up in a battle then we have some goblin orc shamans we have an arachnorok back there with a doom diver which has already fired a shot which was why you guys saw dead bodies over there then a whole bunch of these night goblins and squigs obviously got to love the squigs really really awesome units more night goblins then we do have the more meat uh, the meat of the army in these orc big ones so they're going to be making up the main front line for one of these orc players then as we continue to make our way over we have the rest of his force and these black orcs obviously the solid backbone of the infantry then as we go all the way over to his far left flank we can see more orc big biggins we have some more black orcs and a ragnarok queen and a giant as well along with a front line of trolls and some missiles so that was a really quick intro hopefully you guys uh kind of got the gist of the battle itself and let's just get started let's get started by watching this engagement i guess as the artillery comes flying in because i imagine this is where the the battle's going to kind of kick off. Well, actually, I guess over here is where the battle's going to kick off as the squigs come flying in straight away. The regiment of renowned unit of squigs as these archers flee for their lives as fast as they can. The squigs are going to hunt them down and slaughter them, hopefully. The archers are getting a few shots off as the savage orcs try and push forward just to absorb that charge. But the squigs are going to get a really nice charge off and just run through these savage orcs. Wow, I did not expect that to do as much damage as it actually did. Yeah, look how much damage that shit did. And that's going to slow up all these missiles so the rest of the forces can really start, you know, getting closer and closer to the front lines because these squigs harassed the archers. It means the archers aren't then shooting on the lines back here. But the squigs are going to fall back after that charge. I would say that charge was worth it. Definitely got a lot of the Savage Orcs out of position as well. So I, I definitely think that was a, a good charge. Now everyone else just has to get ready to push forward. The artillery is continuing to harass the front lines over here. You can see some of the Doom Divers coming in. Actually, no, the Doom Divers have stopped shooting and the rest of the units are just being pushed up. So both the both players or both all six players are just feeling each other out right now trying to find decent positions because i mean that's going to be one of the main advantages to the savage orcs is that they have these really nice choke points to hold however the uh, the other orc attackers have obviously a huge roster to pick from you know, with all these creatures as the arrows come flying in and the trolls just jump into these savage orcs now savage orcs are pretty good you know obviously they're not as good as like say uh, say as good as black orcs but you know they're definitely going to hold their own against big ones because they have that awesome armor save as well that ward save of like 20% I think so they're definitely going to be doing okay against the majority of these units and obviously they got more money as well so I think that this battle could really go either way and at the moment as you guys can see the balance of power is still very much in the favor of the defenders at the moment are the trolls routing? Wow, the trolls are already routing. That is insane. That is absolutely disgusting to see the trolls routing as the squigs get another perfect charge here on the Savage Orc boys. So quite a few of you guys were telling me in the previous episode or the previous battle, but you wanted me to do more zoom out shots, which I definitely do think I should do more of. I should definitely zoom out and kind of so you guys get the 
the, the feel of the battle a bit more. So I will be trying to do that uh, going forward. And if you guys think that's a good idea, do let me know in the comments down below. Because, you know, most of the time it's only the vocal minority I, I hear, not the majority. So please do let me know if that's something you guys want to see. It's just, you know, more zoom out shots uh, so you guys can fully understand what's going on in the battle. And it's this giant, oh, this giant's just retreating, I think, which is a smart move. I don't think a giant has regeneration. Uh, it doesn't where the trolls obviously do. But that's a smart move to bring him back, push up the rest of the infantry, and try and hit through there. Over on his right flank, we can see the archers just disintegrating the Savage Orc boys and actually routing them. And that's going to allow these big ones to keep on pushing forward. And we also have the Goblobber as well, throwing off the artillery, taking away the Savage Orcs. Just making it much easier for these guys to make their way up into the battle itself. Oh, we got a little bit of a lag spike there. Hopefully that does not persist. The rest of the infantry going in. A foot of court going down, all on top of these Savage Orcs. That's going to be great. Routing one on the right flank and just wounding the other ones. And hopefully that's going to allow them to keep on pushing. This right flank hasn't engaged yet, which is nice to see that kind of they're staging their attacks in, in kind of uh, assaults. We do have the Arachnorok Queen moving up though, so as soon as that bad boy pushes forward, it's going to be pretty bad. More Orc Biggins just surrounding this outer force. We have the Squigs around the back as well, completely enveloping the Arrow Boys right here. Is the Arachnorok Queen just going to go charging? I don't know, it's just taking some hits now and some missile fire from Wazog right now as he continues to hold the front line. Look at him. I love Wazog so much. He's just chilling. Doesn't care. We've got the archers shooting away at the Arachnorok Queen who needs to be charging forward. I think by the looks of it, she's just waiting for the rest of her reinforcements to get up. The trolls and the York Biggins have also moved up as well. We get a uh, spell being cast on these guys. Some itchy nuisance, Lionheart's rapper name. As that troll just rips apart that savage orc. Holy crap, he just picked him up and, and just looked at him for a second. Like he was the only one that mattered in the entire world. And again, look at him. He's just, he's just staring, staring at him for a second like, Hey, hey orc. Hey, savage orc. You're beautiful. We get some giant on giant action as well. These guys just slapping away each other. But then his friend, his brother turns up and he's like, hey, stop hitting my brother. I thought he was going to pick up a troll then. I don't think he can pick up a troll because that would be insane. But I mean, the Savage Orcs are holding pretty decently on this right side. Besides this kind of bulk, this bulk on the left of it is doing pretty decent. And again, that's only really a delay force to kind of keep their, their like half their army split up. Or a third of the army split up, more than anything. So the main center army is going to be pouring in now. All their archers are going to be having a field day shooting up these clumped units. It might be a good idea to bring some units out of the back and try and hit these guys. Because I imagine this huge clump of archers, of night goblin archers, are just going to be shooting double time. And they have such an easy target at hitting so many of these units. The engagement on this left side has kind of kicked off, but very, very rarely. The main force hasn't really moved up too much, and they're just using their missiles to harass the front lines, which I guess is a smart move using their mages as well to cast some spells. Like the initial orc biggins and the squigs are going to be getting thrown back. And they're kind of just using them as like a meat shield so that the archers and the doom divers can just find their hits. Because I mean, obviously, the doom divers have some pretty nice targets to be hitting. You know, quite a lot of damage going out on these guys, so that is probably a pretty good idea. But yeah, as I'm saying, all these archers right here, there's like six units of Night Goblin archers. If they start volleying all at once, they're just going to just integrate anything in their path. The trolls are now pushing up here, trying to break into the actual main part of the war camp. This is a pretty good idea to use the trolls just to break the line because they're very much an, an impact unit. And if you can just use them to break through the line and then pour in more and more units as you go forward and kind of use the trolls as a as a force just to break the line and then use the orcs just to fill, it, fill in them gaps which the trolls create. However, more trolls are going to be going in as well. I mean, this is a perfect target right now for all the archers just to start hitting. And as well as that, the forces on the far left over here have now cleared out this side of the camp. So they can start making their way right around. You can see there, that's exactly what they're doing. And they can start coming in the back of the fort itself. I mean, Bands of Power is still very much in the favor of the Savage Orc. Well, not very much, but it's slightly in the favor of the Savage Orc still. And this is, I guess, where they get to really hold their defense because they have these great choke points to really push back the enemy. And you can see their defenses are holding. A lot of these units are now routing. Obviously, granted, there's a lot of Night Goblin archers here, but I imagine the Savage Orc archers are going to be trying to take out the, the Night Goblins as well, as fast as they can. 
Some more of the elite forces, the Orc Biggins, have been pushed up now to fight against the Savage Orcs on this right side. Because if they can break through this right side, that's going to alleviate the pressure elsewhere where the main fight is actually occurring. Got the Doom Divers going in overhead as well. That looks great. More Savage Orcs coming to enter the fight. Because again, I think the Savage Orcs are going to once again rebuff this attack. More forces are being sent in now. We have some of the, the Orc Board Chariots. Again, a unit I, like, I see quite often now, but it just seems to never really do too much damage. I'm not really sure why. Uh, a lot of the Orc Boys are now being pushed up again, trying to break through this defense. Like another line of defense. I mean, if I was them, I would just commit everything because there's, there's, these units are like quite spread out. So you could literally come in from all sides here and just surround these guys. I mean, that's, that's kind of what they are doing right now, just with minimal units. And that's why more reinforcements are being sent up. We have a lot of these uh, savage orc boar boys coming up, fighting into these orc biggins. More of the forces are engaging. Some Black Orcs have actually been sent up to fight the Trolls, the Giants, and the rest of the Savage Orcs in this kind of pit of death right now. I was very surprised that the Black Orcs are being committed right now, but I guess they don't really have much left here. They only really have Black Orcs left. The Savage Orcs have managed to do a great job at killing a lot of these weaker units with their missile forces. I mean, there's still a lot of missiles left. And the reinforcements are finally turning up as well. Who are going to come around this backside and enter in the, the rear of the fortress itself. Which is going to really stretch the defenders. If they can get around here and come through this gap. There's literally nothing here defending. A lot of the defenders are stretching themselves thin at this point. They have a, they have a decent amount of reserves. But I mean this, this push just seems so successful right now. On this right side. A lot of the Savage Orcs are getting cut down from the missile fire. But then again I say that. There's a lot of these Orcs routing. They just need to, I guess they don't really have many men left. They only have some regiments of renown back there. And not really a lot of infantry. They have their own cavalry, though, who is going to be coming flying in. We'll see who wins the uh, regiment of renown, the broken Tuscan mob, or the savage orc boys. And I think, obviously, it's going to be the regiment of renown as they pour in. But they're going to be getting surrounded. And again, cavalry doesn't do a great job when they get surrounded. So they're going to have to be very careful. I think the missile fire is really helping out the defenders as well. Like, really, really helping them out. Oh, this is a perfect opportunity to push in all of this cavalry. If you like, push in these squigs, push in these chariots, and just run a muck in all of these archers right here. Oh, but it looks like the defenders are starting to push forward, taking down, oh, attackers, sorry, are starting to push forward. I imagine that missile fire was extremely deadly on that giant, and the Black Orcs are going to be pushing right into the fortress itself, which is going to be extremely risky. Bantz Power is going into the attacker's side. However, obviously, there's still plenty of chances for defenders to come up big. I don't know why they're committing men over to this right-hand side because it doesn't look like anyone sending any units. It's a long way for them to travel. So I think they should be focusing their men just right here and trying to hold this. Maybe they're falling back like just to this little corner or something. Maybe they're falling back to this little encampment right here. The Black Orcs are continue, continuing to charge on, and they're just going to be cutting through these Arrow Boys like they're nothing. They really don't stand a chance. It would have been awesome if you could have got archers actually on this wall. That would have been really, really cool if that was possible. Unfortunately, I don't think it is. As more Arrow Fire comes in, is this a, a defending troll or an attacking troll? I think this is a, yeah, this is a defending troll. So he's going to be getting, or giant, he's going to be getting hit by a lot of missile fire to take him down. But he's still going to be doing a ton of damage as he just chucks a Black Orc to the ground. Just does some more stomping as the Arrow Fire comes in. I mean, the Arrow Fire, anything that misses this troll, or Giant, sorry, I don't know why I keep calling it a troll, is going to be hitting all the Savage Orcs anyway. As you just look at that, oh, fucking, they're going to block out the sun pretty soon. They have committed, it's, it's actually a really nice job and a really nice uh, foot of Gork right there. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, this is a really smart move here. They let in a few, like they let in one unit of Black Orcs and then they plug the gap so that no more reinforcements can come in. And this unit of Black Orcs has just been killed because of it. Yeah, I mean, the defenders still have a lot of giants left. So, and they obviously have an entire, you know, they have an Orc war boss on a Wyvern. They have trolls. Like, these guys definitely have a lot of forces left. So this battle's going to be really close. However, it does look like on this left-hand side that the defense has been broken forward, uh, broken through. 
and they're gonna have to send some infantry because even you don't want to kind of waste these arrow boys you want to use them as a, uh, these uh, yeah these arrow savage arrow boys you don't want to use them as just kind of a throwaway unit like this you want to just use them uh, as a supporting unit because their numbers will really help and them squigs just tear through that line of arrow boys the giant is going to be able to get stuck in here though start killing a lot of these squigs and look how quickly these squigs are going down that giant just got, did so much damage to them and now that they're slow they're, they're kind of been held in place oh my god that giant does so much damage to the unit of squigs that unit's going to rout so quickly the forces over here still haven't broken forward yet they're just starting to attack through some of these savage orcs they really do need to push in and hurry up because, you know, the more pressure they put on these forces, the better. And if I was them, I'd be sending more units around the side and trying to break through this gap. And, you know, maybe even sending my cavalry all the way around. I really like what the defenders did here was by, like, letting in a few units and then cutting off their advance. I thought that was really, really cool. And I think this is only going to be a matter of time until they break through this completely. There's just not enough here supporting. The Arrow Boys aren't going to stand up to anything. The Arachnorok Queen is pouring in. I imagine her Spiderlings will be coming down very soon. And yeah, you can see these guys starting to rout. So really, you need some heavy infantry here just to kind of support the, the Arrow Boys, even if they are running out of ammunition. And yeah, and as I said, guys, you can still see there are plenty of trolls, giants still left to fight. And I mean, this force right here does look like it's going to be getting broken very, very soon. If I was the defenders, I'd be sending in this Wyvern to go and attack the general. You know, if I can kill Grimgore, that'd be amazing. Grimgore is leading the Black Orcs forward, though, which is always great to see. As the Black Orcs just step over that dead giant. The arrow fire from the Night Goblins is still coming in. My god, they must have so much. More trolls being committed to the fight. We actually have some artillery coming in as well. Holy crap, you don't normally get to see artillery this late on in the battle, but it did a ton of damage to these Savage Orc Biggins. How much ammunition does it? It actually has a load of ammunition left as well. These Rock Lovers, or these, this Hammer of Gork, will do so much damage in this battle still, and that could be a defining turning point. They have to be very careful though, because these units are starting to pour in. Obviously, we've got an entire Arachnorok Queen right here. Pretty much two thirds health as well. I have to be very careful with her. This giant is still fighting as well, so I really don't know where this battle's going to go. A pretty big vortex spell if it comes in. Yeah, it comes in right on the back of these guys. That's going to be doing quite a nice amount of damage. Killing a lot of these units as they come to reinforce the lines. And if they can rout Grimgore's forces, they can then convert all their forces around to this right side. Kill these guys. Yeah, look, a lot of these units are all routing. They obviously have all this cavalry, which they just need to be pushing in. Especially now these guys are having to commit more men. So maybe it's a good idea to keep these guys off in the wing and then only commit them when they need to. Because a lot of these Savage Orcs are now having to be brought off the rest of the breaches and committed elsewhere. But we're about to get a huge route right here. The Giant is still holding firm, which is going to be, I think, enough to kill all these Black Orcs. But Grimgore is going to be able to take him down. We do have, a, we do have Azag here as well popping here we go and all these archers are still focusing down the giant so the rest of these what these two units of night goblin archers are going to be able to kill this giant or at least rout him so maybe that's gonna just allow a lot of troops to push forward but it's not really a lot of units to actually push forward here so again i really don't know how this battle is going to go down if they can plug this gap surround the general use this orc war boss on a wyvern to, to take them out and that could be great we also do have Ozzel still here as well he just needs to try and take down this Arachnorok Queen, which is kind of low. You know, there's not a lot of infantry left, really, for these forces. It's, it's going to be a really close battle. And maybe if uh, the, the defending forces... That's, another, that's a huge hammer of Gork going off right there. That killed so many and also routed a bunch of them, allowing these guys to straight on push forward. That, that was really, really big. The balance power is really in the favor of the attackers, though, so I guess... They're going to come out of top in this engagement. They just need to commit maybe a few generals to kill to kill Grimgore. Because Grimgore is leading the fight at the front. He's along, he is supported by the Crimson Killers. A very, very cool regiment of renown. So 
Some trolls put making their way in. Oh, is this giant? This giant should come back from routing. Oh, this could be huge. If they could hold them in place in the front and this giant comes around the back, that could be so deadly. But I just don't know if the, the Savage Orcs have enough men. I think they're falling back to have like a final stand, which I guess does make a lot of sense. Because really looking at it, they still have two full units of giants. They have two trolls left. They have this entire force of cavalry. I think maybe falling back and, and kind of just having a last stand would make a lot of sense. So let's speed it up whilst these units do push forward. Because I imagine it's just going to be a lot of murder as all these units route around. Because I mean, they still have to kill three generals. I don't really know why these generals didn't get committed earlier because it would have made a lot of sense to throw them in, maybe try and surround Grimgor and take him out. Uh, I definitely probably would have done that myself. Yeah, there's all these forces come flying in. Uh, we'll get ready to play it as well when these units come in. Yeah, the rest of the units are pouring in. Just getting ready to surround these guys. And obviously we'll play it now as the battle continues with some full units. The archers are getting the last couple shots off on the on the Arachnor Queen as the artillery comes flying in and actually hits a lot of these savage orcs. Oh my god. Holding that artillery to the end was really, really nice. It definitely did pay dividends there. I love all the arrows just sticking out of the Arachnor Queen. That is awesome. Some of the night goblins there just swinging their dwarfs. Again, I have to pause this every time because it just looks so awesome seeing these night goblins just twizzle around like living dwarfs as well. These dwarfs have just been like tied up and they're just using them to just to smash away at the enemy forces. It's just so cool. It really, really is. And these fanatics doing a great job there. The Giants are getting ready to join the battle. Uh, yeah, these guys literally just stand no chance whatsoever. And I mean, I wouldn't be even surprised if these, all these generals started to rout as well. Because they just, yeah, they just got, got killed these guys so quickly. And all the rest of the units are literally just pouring into the camp. I think Grimgor is going to win the day. I'm not really sure what this unit of the, the, the Rusty Arrows are doing. They're just charging in. They're just like, fuck it, boys. We have ammunition left, but we're going to go in alone. Earn ourselves a name as the Orc Warboss comes down on his Wyvern. I mean, they die pretty quickly. They are definitely, uh, they are definitely crazy. We do have some, uh, some of these Goblin Warbosses on... Wolves though harassing some of the units around the side and I mean it's only gonna be a matter of time until these guys push up So again, let's speed things up whilst these guys get into position and then we'll watch the final fight of the orc war bosses I mean, I definitely think either side could have won this battle. They really really could have I think honestly like all you had to do was maybe cheese it a little bit and commit all your generals to kill Grimgore uh, Whilst he was stuck in here because he didn't really have a lot of support and if you surrounded him He would have gone down pretty quickly that's still a very, very cool battle. That was a lot of fun to cast. And it's always nice seeing like an orc versus orc battle. Because, I mean, the scenario was... Uh, the scenario was uh, so that... The, uh, the defenders weren't allowed to build any other units besides savage orcs. So it kind of wasn't just, you know, the same units fighting the same units. So it was still an extremely interesting engagement. As the orc war boss comes flying down on, Wazar on Azag, sorry. All the generals pushing, all the general auras as well. These guys just need to commit everything they have. Are they just letting the generals fight now? Are they literally just letting... I think they are. Yeah, they're having a general off right now. That's hilarious. <laughs> as the York war boss ch chases down the goblin shaman right there. That is so funny. I love that. What an ending. So guys, please, if you did enjoy this, do make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It really does help out the channel and I appreciate it so much. Also, if you made it this far, make sure to stick around because we'll be running through all the kills so we can see what units got the most kills in this battle as they continue just to clash. That's hilarious, though, that they're having just like a general off to, to, to end it. I think Wazog is about to go down and I think when one of the general goes, they're all going to start routing. I think the morale is going to be very, very bad. The, uh, goblin, uh, the goblin war bosses managed to catch this uh, orc war boss. Or big boss, sorry, I meant to call the goblins. Yeah, we're just going to chase him down. Yeah, now Wazog's gone down. 
Everyone else is just going to rout, I think. And that's going to be it for the battle. That was an awesome battle. Really, really cool. Massive thank you to my Discord for sending that in to me. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to be a part of battles like this in the future, make sure to go join my Discord. The link will be in the description down below. So let's run through the kills. See who really racked up a lot of kills. The Orc Shaman getting a ton. And so did the uh, Orc Big Biggins as well. Uh, the Black Orc's not really doing too much. And the Archer Force really being doing a nice amount of damage. Over here, we have the Arachnorok Queen getting 94 kills very nice and as I go slaughter are getting 69 kills which is never a small feat the doom divers and the squigs and oh my god the arrows as well 171 162 161 and 184 very very nice if we look on the other side we can see that was well, actually got 120 kills which is not too bad and a lot of these savage orc arrow boys as well doing very admirably uh, that is for sure over on this side, we can see that the, yeah, again, the Arrow Boys really being the MVPs. And then on the final unit, all oh, this Orc Shaman, he must have been the one casting all the foot of Gorks. Because 239 kills, I think, is the most in this battle. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle. Make sure to drop a like and a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time. And fish out.